This is Treasures from the Vault with Todd Sawatsky Appraisals. In my past Treasures videos, I've usually focused on a single piece of memorabilia. And in this case, I'm doing things a little bit differently. I am focusing on different types of memorabilia about a single individual. Now, you might be able to tell by my jersey that it is a former Toronto Maple Leaf, and you are correct in that guess. I will be discussing or showcasing a variety of different types of memorabilia about the late Ron Ellis. Now, why would I pick Ron Ellis compared to maybe other former Leafs that have passed away in recent years, some of which were Hockey Hall of Famers? Well, Ron was a former colleague of mine. He was a friend. So I consider all of these treasures very sentimental and something that is completely priceless to me. Anyways, let's take a look. All right, the first few treasures I'm going to show of Ron are some of the signed cards I have of him. Now, Ron, starting his career in 1963, playing more than 1,000 career NHL games, regular season alone, and more than 300 goals, more than 600 points, he really did have an incredible career. So his cards really did go back quite a ways. I'm going to be showcasing only the signed cards that I have of him. And I'm going to start off with this card from the 1973-74 Opeachy set. Now, this was a card set that was very prone for uh, having rough edges, chipping on the edges. But it was also a very colorful set based upon the border, where, in this case, red was predominant. In some of the other cards in the set for other players, there was green, there was yellow, a very colorful set, but a fun one nonetheless. This one is from the 78-79 season. Uh, this particular set happens to be uh, Mike Bossy's rookie year set. And this probably would be one of Ron's last cards. I think his last card dates back to 80-81, if, uh, if I recall correctly. But you can see him in a helmet here. So you can see the progression from his portrait style photo to more of an action shot, even if it's uh, just at the face off. We're going to be jumping ahead a few years, but this is a retro style set. This particular set is from Ultimate Original 6. Ultimate being the card manufacturer, Original 6 focusing on an entire set of Original 6 era players. And Ron was no exception to this. We have a Parkhurst set. This is a Parkhurst retro set. Uh, from around 2007-2008. And uh, Ron Ellis here pictured with the Leafs. He played his entire 16 seasons with the Toronto Maple Leafs, helping them win the Cup in 67, of course, and a beautiful action shot of him. And finally, speaking of the Stanley Cup, this was when Ron Ellis, uh, this is a particular uh, a 90, a 50th anniversary set of the 1967 Toronto Maple Leaf Stanley Cup victory. And Ron Ellis, being a very important piece uh, of that team, is pictured in this beautiful card. So all these cards, of course, are signed by Ron, which make them pretty special. We're going to now go to something totally different, totally unique, and it is a cassette tape. Yes. This happens to be a Hockey Hall of Fame cassette tape. And when we take a look at the back of it, and I'll show a closer shot of that, you will see that there are many songs on this. It's almost like a mixtape. It is a mixtape, literally. A very common songs that were played during um, probably the uh, stoppages of play during the games or in intermission. You know, Pat Benatar. The Nylons, BTO, uh, some very fun songs on here. Of course, because it's a Hall of Fame mixtape, they put a hockey shot on it. And you will see that Ron Ellis is coming in on goal against a Montreal goaltender. So Ron uh, has grac graciously signed this cassette cover. So a very fun, uh, unique collectible. All right, now let's go to the pucks. 
This is a Toronto Maple Leaf 100th anniversary puck. And you can see the 100th in the logo, and it is also signed by Ron in gold. Now, Ron was named as one of the Toronto Maple Leafs' top 100 players during their first 100 years of existence. Truly incredible. And this is another unique, this is a souvenir puck of a uh, 1972 Summit Series. Now, Ron was a member of the Canadian squad that beat the Russians in the 1972 Summit Series. So, as much as he was a legend with the Toronto Maple Leafs, he certainly had some glory with Team Canada as well. All right. Now, this is something that is very different. Nothing even signed by Ron, but it is a Hockey Hall of Fame teammates magazine. This one goes back to 2008, and on the back, you will see a staff directory. So on the back here, you will see that Ron Ellis was the Director, Public Affairs, and Assistant to the President. And what's also fun about this, is you look a little bit further down the list, right down there, you're going to see that... I, too, am in the staff directory for the Hockey Hall of Fame. Of course, my title at the time was Technical Specialist Desktop Servers and Networks. So uh, a fun little piece to show that, yes, he was a past colleague, and I got proof right here. So a very fun, nostalgic piece. And the final item I'm going to showcase is this. This was a gift that was given to me many years ago. This is a Ron Ellis Foundation, or the Ron Ellis Team Canada Foundation souvenir stick that is signed by not only Ron, but several members of the 1972 Summit Series. So you can see that they were current photos at the time. This would have been a golf tournament. And there's also Pete Mahovlich, Dennis Hall, Hall of Famer Brad Park, and Team Canada uh, Goal of the Century hero Paul Henderson also with this on this beautiful sign piece. So, all great items. Uh, there is so much Ron Ellis stuff that's out there. Photos, pucks, cards, uh, a wonderful book that was written by another friend of mine, Kevin Shea, called Over the Boards. Um, uh, Ron Ellis's story. Uh, there's tons of stuff out there. So if you're looking for some Ron Ellis stuff, you can probably find many of his items relatively inex inexpensive just due to the fact that he was such a good signer during his lifetime. Anyways, thank you for joining me for this Treasures from the Vault video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, if you would like to get an appraisal done for yourself, on any of your wonderful collectibles, please email me or contact me via any of my social media. Until next time.